100 Years of Solitude, written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, opens with a compelling narrative that introduces us to the Buendia family's foundation in the mythical town of Macondo. The first four sections of the novel focus on the establishment of Macondo, the colorful and enigmatic personalities of the Buendia family, and the blend of magical realism that defines the story's essence. At the heart of the narrative is Jose Arcadio Buendia, a character driven by insatiable curiosity and intellectual passion. His endeavors to explore scientific discoveries, particularly his obsession with alchemy, symbolize the human quest for knowledge and the inherent dangers of such pursuits. His wife, Ursula Iguardan, represents resilience and practicality, grounding the family with her unwavering dedication and perceptiveness, even as chaos seems to loom over them. The story unfolds with the arrival of the gypsies, who bring the first spark of imagination and wonder to Macondo. Melquiades, the gypsy leader, introduces José Arcadio Buendía to marvels like magnets and alchemy, initiating his descent into near madness. This encounter sets up one of the novel's recurring themes, the relentless and often destructive pursuit of knowledge. While José Arcadio becomes consumed by his experiments, neglecting his family and societal responsibilities, Marcus illustrates how a single-minded quest can lead to isolation and alienation. Ursula's attempt to prevent the cyclical repetition of her family's mistakes, seen when she ventures out alone to search for her lost husband, highlights another significant theme, the endurance and fortitude of women. Ursula's journey not only breaks gender norms, but also establishes her as a symbol of strength and continuity amid the Buendia family's recurring patterns of folly and madness. Throughout these initial sections, Marquez employs magical realism to weave a narrative where the extraordinary is treated as commonplace. This is evident in the town's history, where its creation myth is interlaced with both improbable and enchanting events, giving readers a sense of timelessness and mythic grandeur. The river, for instance, is portrayed as both a boundary and a source of life, encapsulating the duality inherent in many aspects of the narrative. The arrival of the children, notably Jose Arcadio and Aureliano, introduces new dynamics and further complicates the family's saga. Jose Arcadio's robust and rebellious nature contrasts with Aureliano's introspective and prophetic disposition. These contrasts not only highlight the diversity within the Buendia lineage, but also foreshadow the roles each will play in the unfolding drama. Aureliano's future preoccupation with solitude and fate begins to take shape early setting a somber tone for the cyclic nature of the family's destiny. Marquez's storytelling is rich with symbolism and motifs that underline major themes. The recurring image of the yellow butterflies, which later follow certain characters, hints at the interwoven fates and the presence of omens within the novel. The idea of predestination versus free will is subtly introduced, suggesting that despite the characters' efforts, they might be unable to escape their inherited destinies. In summary, the first four sections of 100 Years of Solitude lay a strong foundation for the epic tale of the Buendia family. Through Jose Arcadio Buendia's scientific obsessions, Ursula's practical strength, and the burgeoning individuality of their children, Marquez explores themes of knowledge, resilience, fate, and the passage of time. His use of magical realism not only enchants the reader, but also deepens the narrative, inviting us to consider the blurred boundaries between reality and imagination. As we dive deeper into the novel, these early developments promise a richly woven story of love, loss, and the inexorable march of history. If this video was helpful, please hit subscribe to help the channel reach our first 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another Bookly Crash Course.